Here are the big tools that you use when you're looking at sampling problems. Uh, we worry about these three distributions. The distribution of the population, the distribution of sample means. Sometimes we convert scores that are in the distribution of sample means to a, either a t-value or a z-value. We determine which one, whether we're going to use t's or z's down here, be, whether we know whether we're using the standard deviation of the sample as an estimate for the population standard deviation or whether we know the population standard deviation uh, so that we can find the standard error. Um, so let's look at, at some, some problems here and these problems actually they're asking us for understanding about these three distributions. So let's uh, Let's get started on that. Here's the first problem. We're looking at some um, extremely low birth rate children and, and their health in years later on. We see what the, dis the definition of an extremely low birth weight child is. We look at a, at a random sample of 219 children. Okay, now how does that fit into this particular uh, picture here? The, the point is that we've got a sample of uh, 219 children. So that means that our n is 219. Now we only look at one sample, but in this picture we're imagining, suppose that you looked at all the possible simple random samples of, of 219 and would worry about what that that distribution is. Now oh, here's what they're asking. The average sample mean X bar, so we we took a sample of 219, we find the X bar, over all possible samples is equal to mu. Okay? That that is the mean of the of all the sample <laughs> that that's this statement right here. Okay? That is a true statement. Now, the sample mean X bar will have a distribution that is close to normal. That, that's true under, under certain conditions, but we, we need to know some more assumptions about uh, this original population. So that's why I'm choosing A instead of, instead of B in, uh, in that case. All right, let's look at the second problem. Now we've got... Uh, uh, maybe I want to come and erase this information because we're looking at a new problem here. Okay. Uh, the scores in the mathematics part of the SAT in a recent uh, was was roughly normal. Okay, so we're talking about this population, the population, uh, the distribution here, and it's n roughly normal. <coughs> and they're saying that the that that, oops, let me get back to the, to the right tool here. That's, uh, can I get out of, need to turn that off, I guess. That, uh, that is roughly normal and it's got a mean of 465. See, the, the question on the, the, the thing that you have to ask yourself in these questions is, is uh, which distribution are we looking at? Okay, so we're looking at at uh, the original population. Its mean is 465, and it's got a standard deviation of 116. Okay, so there's the 116. Uh, you choose a simple random sample of of 100. Okay, so I know that this part is 100. Um, and average their SAT scores. So we look at one sample and we take their average and see what we get up there. If you do this many times with the sample size of 100, so we're going to do that a whole lot of times and begin to look at this distribution over here, uh, the standard deviation of that average will be what? Well, we its standard deviation is going to be this right here. Okay, so Maybe I'll 
I want to come in and use R for a minute. Let me see if, uh, let me scratch this up a little bit so I'm not using up so much real estate here. Okay, so what we know is that this the standard deviation of our original population was 116. 116 divided by the square root of 100 because that's what the the standard deviation of this distribution over here is and that's what they're asking for. So let's just check and see what that is. That's uh, 11.6. Okay. So there we are with that. Let's look at the next problem. Okay. So now I'm pretty interested in See if I can't recover this. So I'm not interested in that anymore. Okay, but I've still got this this same uh, three distributions. Uh, the score in mathematics part of the SAT test in a recent year is roughly normally distributed. Oh, I should have left those same scores in there, shouldn't I? because uh, the mean here is 465 again and the standard deviation is equal to 116 okay uh, you choose a sa simple random sample of 100 students uh, if you do this many times with a sample size of 100 okay so we've got exactly the same setting that we had before each time the mean of the average uh, scores will get close to well the this mean <laughs> the mean of these average scores is going to be close to that 465 okay let's check our answers well, huh. okay so the the secret here is just understanding these three um, these three distributions. Okay, hope that helps.